Hello, Berberry Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Berberry Hills. And girl, today we have some cold, cold iced tea from the cold mountains of Salt Lake City, right here directly for you. Because apparently, next season is going to be good. We have been talking a little bit about this, but apparently, we have some new information that is telling us that these girls are killing it. And also, why probably next season it's all going to be against none other than Miss Whitney Rose. And we need to talk about it. But before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you want to support my channel. Now you can do it through the thank button right here. And let's talk about this mess. Mention it all. Mention it all. Love you, baby. Bye. Girl, I mean, these girls are... Honestly, you know, I'm very surprised with Salt Lake City. You know, they're going through their third season, and apparently it's going to be strong, okay? Um, I have heard so much drama is going on, so many things, but it's going to be a different kind of drama, and it's actually, it's they say that it's not going to be as dark as last season you know like last season was very kind of like explosive and very like in a very dark way you know especially everything that happened between lisa barlow and Marilyn marx and you know the whole arrest with jen shaw so like those whole situations was very very kind of like oh you know powerful so it's not going to be that dark but it's definitely full of tea so before we got into this whole whitney rose situation let me give you what they're saying this is was uh, some tea spilled to bravo on cocktails and they said after a blockbuster second season salt lake city have a struggle to find new housewives. You know that they, they lost Mary Cosby, they lost Jenny Wen, and they're probably going to be losing Jane Shaw, right? So it says, the cast will only be returning... I'm sorry, the cast will only be the returning of five OGs. No one else has earned a snowflake. Angie Katsanevas will be the only official new cast member. She got a cast photo and will have confessionals, but ultimately she will be a friend of the show. Dana Vuynegret and Angie Harrington will be guests of the show, kind of like the way the two Kims were during season two of The Real Housewife of New Jersey. Although Harrington has a confessional and may have a cast photo, although that's unconfirmed. The season has been sensational again okay these ladies really deliver the new season will be far less dark than the last season we'll see a roundup of mary's storyline as she is mentioned a lot in the early episodes and the ladies film at her border up church also the season will cover Jenny's Jenny Wen's Facebook post, and we will see her on the early episodes. Barlow is having Lisa Barlow is having a tough season, but likely Whitney will have the toughest season. Okay. Um so that right there is telling us that these girls are ready, that season three is going to be as good as season two, which is one thing that we are always looking forward, especially when we have one really, really good season. It gets really nerve wracking thinking, OK, are they going to be able to deliver the same amount? for the next season or it's going to be very boring and everything is just going to go down so it kind of like become a snowball because it has to be bigger and bigger and bigger and you're like shit what is going to be bigger than literally seeing jane shaw getting arrested and these girls doing all the shit that they did last season right so but apparently they are doing it now this whole whitney rose situation I, I told you before, you know, and I'm going to say it again. What I have been hearing is that Whitney Rose is in the out with her original group. OK, there was some kind of big shed going on between Whitney and Heather Gay, you know, 
and apparently she it was enough for her to say like i don't i don't need this mess right now in my life i'm actually gonna be seeing if the grass is really greener on the other side and that's why whitney rose is jumping to actually get to know lisa barlow and become there i don't know i don't think they're gonna be bff just yet but i think they're gonna get to know each other and it's gonna go somewhere else and also we have the addition of angie katanovas and uh dana vuin negret you know so that group right there is gonna be consolidating a new friendship now that right there is going to be a major fu to the other group okay um apparently Jen Shaw, Meredith Marks, and uh, Heather Gay are totally done with Whitney Rose. Okay, they uh, they feel that they betrayed them, and they possibly feel like Whitney is trying to flip flop just because Lisa Barlow is very popular, so she wants to be friends with the popular girl. Which honestly, girl, is. Yes, Lisa Barlow is popular and we love Lisa Barlow, but we love Lisa Barlow for a reason, okay? Because Lisa Barlow is not compromising her beliefs or who she is for to be in front of a camera, okay? I will never understand why uh, Meredith Marks is becoming friends with Jen Shaw after everything that went down last season, okay? This was not like, oh, you know, she was trying to be nice. Oh, no, we were just having some problems here and there, and we find our way to each other. No, Meredith Marks was literally accusing Jen Shaw of destroying her family, of coming after her family, of threatening her son so much that she literally hired a private investigator and she went on in front of the camera many 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 times and screamed at jen how she was a horrible person how she was guilty of everything how she didn't want her close to her family how she she, she was done so why out of nowhere now they are becoming friends that's like compromising your integrity and who you are just because you want to make your best friend or ex-best friend or whatever uh, mad or jealous or whatever you're trying to make Lisa Barlow feel. It doesn't make sense. You know, it's kind of like a, a weird punishment, you know? And so I think also that friendship right there between Meredith Marks and Jen Shaw and Heather Gay and Jen Shaw, who let's all remember, Jen Shaw is still being accused of doing this huge telemarketing scam why i think that's the final how you say here in english the then the final drop and the glass and the water and like the whole thing you know what i mean latino moment guys i think that was it for whitney to be like i don't want to mess with that that's some fake bullshit going on over here at least lisa barlow it's being real you know what i mean at least if, if lisa barlow doesn't like you she's telling you to your face you know what i mean so I think that's the situation that is going on over here. But apparently, so now we have all of these girls trying to go after Whitney Rose and probably Lisa Barlow like they have been trying to do many, many times, you know? Not, but I, I'm, I'm happy that now they have Angie Katanovas and Dana Buini Gret to kind of like, they are not by themselves. So I think it's going to be a fair fight between them. So let's see what is going to happen, how this is going to end. Are you excited for season three? Um, what do you think about all of this thing? Let me know. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.